2020 Infiniti QX50 review a good value made better. The 2020 Infiniti QX50 is basically the same car my colleague Andrew Kroc reviewed last year. It's got the same potent yet thrifty VC turbo powertrain, the same smart ProPilot Assist driver assistance technology and the same opulent blue on white leather interior. But it's not exactly the same. Infiniti has been uncharacteristically nimble with updating its small luxury SUV, tweaking the packing and tech just one year after this generation's launch. The changes are subtle, but with competition so fierce in this class, every bit of edge matters. For 2020, the QX50 comes out more competitive than ever. Better tech. Perhaps the most noteworthy change for the 2020 model year is the updated cabin technology suite. Oh, it still uses the same awkward, dual-screen setup, splitting the interface between an 8-inch display up top and a 7-inch screen below. But resolution for the upper unit has been bumped up and the on-screen graphics are now crisp and vibrant. Touch responsiveness has also been improved for both the top and bottom screens. More standard features. The available safety tech hasn't changed for the 2020 model year, but a number of once-optional technologies are now standard across the QX50 lineup. This adds a bit to the starting price, but I think the extra value is worth it. The SUV now offers lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring, rear cross-traffic alert with automatic braking and automatic high beams without checking a single option box. Those new standard features are in addition to the forward collision warning with pedestrian detection and automatic braking, rear parking sensors and rear view camera that carries over from last year. A surround view camera is an optional upgrade. VC Turbo Performance The QX50's VC Turbo engine is an interesting setup. The 2.0-liter, turbocharged four-cylinder uses a novel variable displacement system that can alter the engine's compression ratio on the fly, going from thrifty to powerful with a nudge of the accelerator. Tip into the power and the QX50 is good for 268 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque. Sounds good, right? Sensory and Autograph Editions the 2020 tweaks continue with two new trim levels at the top of the lineup, the Autograph and Sensory, in addition to the carryover Pure, Lux and Essential models. The new 42020 QX50 Sensory, $48,900, gets you 20-inch wheels, Bose Audio, Cube Design LED headlamps, leather seats and blind spot intervention and active safety upgrade to blind spot monitoring that uses bias brake intervention to prevent merging into a vehicle. How I'd spec it. The fully kid Autograph is dope but it's the lower trim levels benefit most from the new standard safety features and the improvements to the cabin tech. The base 2020 QX50 Pure is a very good value for its $37,250 asking price with its 19-inch wheels, keyless entry, and push-button start, while the Lux, $40,250, adds nice to haves including a panoramic moonroof, LED fog lamps, and roof rails. Stiff competition. I'm not saying you should avoid the white leather autograph, but you've really gotta like this car to spend almost 60 grand on it. At the entry level and mid-range, the 2020 Infiniti QX50 is an excellent value and very competitive in this small luxury SUV class that includes the Acura RDX, Audi Q5, BMW X3, Cadillac XT5 and Lexus NX not the best, but competitive for sure, with one of the largest cargo capacities and fuel economy at the top of its class. And, despite a slight price bump for 2020, it still manages to come in cheaper than all but the Lexus NX300. Yes, I wish the powertrain was more responsive, but even I can appreciate how well balanced the 2020 QX50's performance and efficiency can be. And now, with smarter packaging and better tech, it's even better than before.